The treaty was not supposed to be confidential, but we have never made it public before. This draft treaty was approved, was initialed by uh, the head of Ukrainian negotiators. Here is the document with his signature. The document is right here. It is called a Treaty on Permanent Neutrality and Security Guarantees for Ukraine, the very security guarantees that you are speaking of. 18 articles. Moreover, there are addenda. And annexes, they have to do with the armed forces and other things. Everything is spelled out, including the number of units of uh, military equipment and the personnel of the armed forces. The document is right here, and it was initialed by the Kiev delegation. Their signatures are there. But when we withdrew our troops from Kiev, the Kiev authorities, following the example of their masters, simply threw this all away to the dustbin of history. Uh, let me use this uh, delicate expression. They rejected that. Where are the guarantees that they will not reject any other agreements that we might make? Even in these conditions, we have never rejected the idea of negotiating with them. It wasn't us, it was the leadership of Ukraine who said they would not negotiate with us. Moreover, the acting president of Ukraine signed a decree prohibiting to negotiate with Russia. I fully understand your concerns. I sympathize with them, and we are ready to consider all of your proposals, but we have never rejected the idea of negotiations. It was Ukraine who did it. They even issued a decree to that effect. What do they want from us? Speaking of prisoners of war, the process is underway, and I thank you for mentioning this issue. Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and other partners of ours do a lot for this process and we are ready to continue. Children. Children are something sacred. We evacuated those children from the conflict zone, saving their lives and health. This is what took place. No one wanted to separate those children from their families. We evacuated entire orphanages, and it was fully legal because the heads, the directors of those orphanages, are legal representatives of those children. We are not against children being reunited with their families when their families surface. We have never made any obstacles in this process and we will never do so. Let me assure you of that. You of that. This is something I would like to interject in the middle of our discussions. I am sorry for spending some of your time. Let us continue down our agenda and I am happy to give the floor to the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema.